It's been 22 years since Tiger Woods won the 1997 Masters with a Scotty Cameron Newport TEL3. And to commemorate that victory, Scotty Cameron have recently released three putters with the Terillium Fade in them. And they look a bit naughty. Let's have a look at them. Next level. So hello, welcome to the channel. My name's Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. This is your first time watching my channel. Hello, welcome, hey up, hi. Please consider subscribing, plenty of content similar to this already being put out and coming out soon. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So like I said in that brief introduction, in today's video we're gonna look at the brand new T22 putters by Scotty Cameron. These are a remake of the 1997 TE3 model and that to me new is the one with the Trillium face. So let's have a little bit of a deeper look as to what Scotty Cameron is saying about the re-release putters. So these putters won't be a true remake unless they had the Terillium face insert that we saw in the putters in 97 and the domino pattern in the back cavity of the putter. These putters, funnily enough, have been hugely requested on tour with the likes of Brooks Kepka asking Scotty Cameron himself if he could make him a putter with a Terillium face insert. And in these 2019 reissues, there's going to be three models. There's going to be the Scotty Cameron Newport, the Newport 2 and the Fastback 1.5. This is actually the first Fastback 1.5 to ever have a Trillium face insert in it. That's cool, isn't it? Now let's look at some of the deeper specifications of these new T22 Scotty Cameron putters. So, they are precision milled in the US with 303 stainless steel. They have a matte black finish. Scotty have also said that the new Trillium inlay dampens vibrations, which will only enhance feel and all that kind of stuff and make the putter feel a little bit softer. Unlike the 1997 version, this new one has removable sole weights and as you would expect, the overall weight of the new putters is increased, so it's a little bit heavier than the old ones. This to me basically seems like modern technology in an old classic shape. It's almost like putting Brembo brakes, a V10 engine, split differential, new suspension in an E-Type Jag. The T22 putters also come with the Pistolini grip, which Scotty Cameron have said is uh, less taper, so it's a little bit thicker under the right hand as you're holding it. Throughout August 16th, and they will retail at, wait for it, around about $599. So I think that's about 550 quid off the top of my head, maybe a little bit less. So comment below, what are your thoughts on the brand new Titleist T22 putters? I think they're absolutely superb looking. I think the price range may be a little bit expensive for some people, but if you're wanting that look and that ultimate feel, that may be the price that you have to pay. Please comment below. What what are your thoughts on this putter and I also want to hear you in that comment section below what is the best putter you've ever used I'm thinking best looking and best performance wise I've got all three of mine out on the putting green tonight I'm having a bit of a practice actually so make sure you get in those comments below I want to hear it that is pretty much it from me today so that was a first look at the brand new Titleist T22 putter range if you've liked this video please like share and subscribe until next time thanks for watching cheers